Hey guys, and welcome back to Zola's Up 2. So today it is Thursday, August 22nd, 2024. And as you guys can see by how the lab looks and also the title of this video, Surprise 6 has arrived. And is as follows. The Festival of Fruits. Welcome to our sixth surprise of seven in our Summer of Surprises. Festival of Fruits, August 22nd to September 5th. If you recall, at the start of 2024, this was originally the June event. We moved it to August to make the New York party happen. In this tropical themed event, explore nine fruit themed rooms and nine mini temples to receive awesome items based off the nine fruits. The temples unlock every one to two days and have challenges in them to reach the items at the end for making it through them. Upcoming events. August 29th, week two content. September 5th, the party will end. And also on September 5th, the September 2024 catalog. We hope you enjoy the six surprise Only One Remains by Mr. Sheep. Now that I have that covered, let's explore this party. The Festival of Fruit, as the book explained, is from August 22nd to September 5th. And then, the next party in exactly four weeks is... The Fair, 2024, from September 19th to October 3rd. Which you guys already knew that at the beginning of the year. By the way, to clarify, this is the last surprise event for the year. So, the rest of these events that should be occurring after this are ones you already knew at the beginning of the year. With that now in mind, as you can see, we have the Festival of Fruits schedule. On August 22nd, we will explore the Apple Temple, where we will collect some really cool items. On August 23rd, the Orange Temple will open, where we will collect some orange-themed items. On August 25th, the Banana Temple will open where we'll collect some banana-themed items at the end. On August 26th, the Watermelon Temple will open where we'll collect watermelon-themed items. On August 28th, we will go explore the Sweetberry Temple where we'll collect some Sweetberry-themed items. On August 29th, when the second week starts, we will explore the Glowberry Temple and collect some Glowberry-themed items. On August 31st, we will explore the Pineapple Temple and collect some pineapple-themed items. On September 2nd, which is Labor Day, we will explore the Chores Fruit Temple and collect Chores Fruit items at the end. Last but not least, on September 3rd, just two days before the party ends, we will explore the Golden Carrot Temple where we'll collect the last few fruit-themed items. And there you have it. That is the schedule for the whole party. Now that I have that out of the way, let's explore the rooms. So as you guys can see, the outside of the lab here is specifically themed after the apple. If it didn't already look obvious by the way this room was decorated. But another thing, over here on the front of the lab, you'll notice that this is a combination of all the fruits seen in the overall party. Which is actually really freaking clever if I'm going to be honest. So we have an apple, orange, banana... Melon, Sweetberry, Glowberry, Pineapple, Chorus Fruit, and Golden Carrot. And then it just repeats. Up until we get to over here. Which is actually really freaking cool, by the way. Anyway, you'll also notice the event sign for it also shares the same things. Which is actually really cool. And you'll notice how this room, the Apple Room, looks like this. Which is actually really cool. To clarify, there's nothing in the barrels. But, I should mention that the tree has been replaced with this apple-themed stand that holds up the apple. Which actually looks really cool, and I had to remove some parts of over here, like specifically right here, to be able to put this in. Because normally the stairs are normally where the red concrete is. And the apple temple is down there, we will get to that later in the video. So, please do look out for that very soon. After exploring all these rooms, of course, we'll go to the temple after exploring all the rooms. With all that being said, we have an apple here on the ground, 
which is very cool. And we have some Apple themed banners, which is very, very nice. Hope you guys love it. It's pretty nice. It is a very nice room, if I'm going to be quite honest. And yeah, with all of that being said, let's move on to the next room. Our next room in this party is the underground room where the Season 7 jury house is. However, you may notice it's actually decorated for this party, which is very rare considering all this is down here. Now granted, these trivia questions are still here, regardless of it being decorated. You'll notice, however, though, that there is sand literally everywhere in this room. And you'll also notice that it's been completely decorated for the orange fruit in this very room. So, that is super freaking cool. Now, another thing you will probably notice is if we go over here, you'll notice how the orange temple sign is right here. However, if we look down, it says opens August 23rd. So, literally, we're going to be doing this in the next episode. As we are literally just one day away till that opens. Because it's August 22nd. With all that being said, we will explore this in the next episode when it opens. In fact, there are going to be a total of nine episodes during this party to match and to also explore all nine temples. Yep, that's right. You heard me. Nine episodes in this party. That's a lot of episodes for one party. But granted, this party has a lot of content, so it is easily explainable why that is. Because this party has a lot of content. And yeah, so that's really it. There's not too much to say other than, oh yeah, and uh, here's the exit for it. Yeah, there's just a little sneak peek of in there. Looks pretty cool. But yeah, that's the exit, by the way, for the temple. It looks really nice. And over here looks nice too. It looks really, really cool. And yeah, with all of that being said, there is not much else to say about this room. So I think it's best that we, you know, uh, <clears throat> Get out of here. The next room in this party is the wave pool, which as you can see has been completely transformed for this party in the form of a banana, which is already obvious because of the little wave pool background and the banana on the floor. And also the little uh, banners that we have all over the place in the form of that. Down there, as you will see, it says banana temple, specifically right there. However, as you can see, it is not open. We don't even have an open sign for that. I mean, that's the only one to not have one, but couldn't find any room for it. Anyway, that is very cool. And I hope you guys love this room. There's not too much here, so that's why we're not going to be in here long, because this is a very small room. As you can see, like, this is a very small room, so there's not too much to say about this room. And yeah, but I will admit though, I will admit, and we will get to that one in a minute, the watermelon one. Yeah, we'll get to that in just a minute. But as you can see, it looks really nice. We got all the banana themed things here, which is very, very nice. And I hope you guys love this. This is actually really freaking cool. And I hope you guys love it. So yeah, told you guys we weren't gonna be here long. Let's move on to the next room. Next room in this party is the end portal area. So literally right behind the banana. Yep, literally on the opposite side of this is the banana. Uh, sorry, uh, the watermelon. But as you can see, we have melon themed decorations all across this area, which is really cool. I even changed the path to melons to make it even more clever. So this is extremely clever, like one side's banana and the other's watermelon. That's freaking clever. And to specifically clarify, right over here specifically is the watermelon temple. But it opens on August 26th, so we got four days until that releases. There's a little sneak peek of the temple down there. Yep, it opens on August 26th. Yeah, that, yeah I just showed you a little sneak peek of that temple. It's going to be very cool. All of these are extremely creative, by the way. And yeah, I hope you guys are going to love these because like they're all going to be really freaking cool when you guys see them in their respective episodes coming throughout the party. Outside of that, this is what it looks like here, though. Outside of the temple, it honestly looks really freaking cool. 
I also do like that I changed these to melons, the path to be specific, because again, you may notice that I did change it. And we're actually about to get to that room over there, actually in about maybe like a few seconds or even a minute. But just now, this room is really freaking cool. Now, speaking of over there, our next room in this party is the backyard, which as you can see, is decorative for the sweet berries, which is actually really freaking cool. As you can see. Yup, we have sweet berry decorations literally everywhere, all across here. As you can see, this actually looks really freaking cool. There's sand all over the place as well. And I hope you guys love it. And just to purposely clarify, over here is the sweet berry temple, which will unlock on Wednesday, August 28th. So in six days on the last day of the first week of this party. So literally the day before week two starts. But yeah, it honestly looks really freaking cool. I also hope you guys love the banners too. Like they're honestly really freaking cool. Yeah, I think the banners also look really cool. What do you guys think of them? Anyway, um, that's really cool. There's not too much to say about this room outside of, well, it honestly looks really freaking creative. Like honestly, all these rooms look super creative so far. And I hope you guys love them because I took a lot of time to make them. Like all these rooms to be specific, look amazing. And yeah, I truly hope you guys love them. Uh, one other thing you might notice is there are sweet berries literally right here on each of the team uh, floors and one over there. So that's really cool. That's very clever. That is extremely clever. And yeah, with all that being said, uh, I am going to move on to the next room. So let's go. The next room for this party is Rose Crystal's room, which I know wasn't in the construction, but granted, this was after I met the construction that I decided to put a fruit temple in Rose Crystal's room. So yeah, that can explain why, because I thought of it after making the construction, so that's why there was no construction there earlier in the last episode, because this was thought of after. Anyway, uh, this opens on August 29th, the day the second week of the party begins. We have the Glowberry Temple sign up there, and this is what Rose Crystal's room looks like. Looks very cool, and yeah, I hope you guys love this. This is actually really freaking creative. And see, we got another thing for Glowberries right here, which is very, very cool. And again, we will enter the temple in a week, so do look out for that. There's a little sneak peek uh, right down there. Yep, there's your little sneak peek. It's going to be very cool down there. Also, I hope you guys love all these banners, by the way. I know I said it earlier, but I truly do want you guys to tell me how you feel about all these banners. And yes, we still have that sign, because technically the room's still here, technically, for that. Uh, right here, even though it's technically decorated. I mean, like, the walls are still here from it. So I guess it counts. Yeah, honestly, this room looks freaking amazing. And by the way, it's also on the outside as well. So that's another thing. It's also on the outside. So you'll notice that um, it looks like this. And I hope you guys love it because honestly, this is really freaking cool. What do you guys think of this? Comment down below. And with all that being said, I am going to move on to the next room now. So, yeah. Let's go. The next room in this party is Snowland, which as you can see, is decorated for the pineapple. And as you can see, the pineapple temple opens on August 31st. So on the last day of August, so in like nine days, that temple will open. Just to clarify though, there is a little sneak peek right there of the temple. But of course we have to wait nine days for that to open. As you can see, however, the room itself also looks really freaking cool. And also the banners do look really nice. But yeah, what do you guys think? This is a very, very cool room. And overall, I honestly don't know what my favorite room is.
as of right now. I personally don't know what my favorite room is out of all of these that we've seen so far. And just them overall, because we still got like two more rooms. Actually, scratch that, we got three more rooms, actually. I know I said there were only nine fruit rooms, but we actually have an extra room that um, I want to showcase after the last one. So, yeah, what do you guys think of the pineapple room? This honestly looks really cool. It's a very cool way to implement the pineapple theme. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Comment down below and tell me what you think of all this, because it honestly looks really freaking cool. And, yeah, so I am going to move on to the next room now. We only got two more fruit rooms, and then uh, one more room after that, just to end it off. It's going to be very, very fun. But until then, let's move on to the next room. So you probably wouldn't expect anything to be decorated here on, you know, the balcony here because it looks practically exactly the same. Well, I am here to prove you wrong because as you can see, it is decorated for the chores fruit, which looks like this. Look how cool this looks, man. It looks freaking awesome. And over here, guys, we have the Chores Fruit Temple, which unlocks on September 2nd on Labor Day, as it's stated in the schedule. With all that said, though, this is what it looks like. It honestly looks really freaking cool. I honestly truly love this room too. It's also kind of a surprise that in here is decorated when it's not even decorated on the outside because like when you probably would first see that, you would not expect the room to be decorated on the inside. You probably expect the room to just be exactly the same on the inside that you already were used to. But no, you get surprised with this when you open it up and you see this. That's crazy. Because on the outside, it feels like nothing's decorated on the inside. And uh, just to clarify, there is a little sneak peek of the temple right down there. It's very nice. So yeah, there you go. That is practically it for the room. So I am going to get out of here now and move on to the next room. The final fruit themed room in this party is the cruise ship pool, which as you can see is entirely decorated for this party. Yeah, normally this room never gets decorated unless it's like Halloween or something, <laughs> but nope, that's right. It's actually decorated for once. Proving I don't forget about these extra rooms that are spread across the world. Because a lot of times it's only normally just Halloween that I normally decorate most of the world. But as you can see, the golden carrot, even though this is technically not a fruit, I still put it in here anyway because it looked cool. With all that being said, though, it's very, very cool in here, I'm going to be honest. It is extremely cool in here. And also, by the way, the way you actually get into the temple is actually freaking clever. And I'm going to show you why I say it is right now. You see, we're heading down the water slide like normal. Well, watch what happens when we make our way down. Ta-da! It leads us down to the temple itself. However, it actually opens on September 3rd, two days before the party's conclusion. So there is a little sneak peek of the temple right there for you guys. And yeah, so yeah, we're going to have to come back in the next, you know, uh, 12 days to be able to do that temple. But that's really clever how you get down there. And honestly, I honestly was trying to figure out, like, what's the best way to get down there? And then I realized, oh, frick, the water side would work considering the temple is literally below the pool, which you may notice the carrot thing I made here literally is like covering the whole pool. And you'll also notice how the whole temple literally covers the whole pool as well on the bottom, on like the inside. So that's really freaking clever. And honestly, this event has a lot of really clever things. So with all that being said, 
let's move on to the last room. Final room to be decorated in this party is the top of the cruise ship, because as you can see, much like the front of the lab, it is a combination behind, between all nine fruits that we see in this overall party. This is actually really freaking clever, as honestly, I was not expecting it. Fun fact, actually, it was the first room I made in this party. Like, literally, I'm not kidding, it was the first room I made in this whole party. I'm not freaking joking. Literally, no room was made prior to this. So, yeah. Now, why did I make this room first out of every other one? I don't know, I just felt like it, man. It was cool. But yeah, it's a combination between all the fruits in this party. Like, all nine. Which is actually really freaking clever. And I truly hope you guys love this because it's a nice way to wrap up the tour. Okay. With all that being said, guys, what do you guys think of this room and the last room in this party? And also, you'll also may notice that this down here um, also has all the fruits on it, which is very clever as well. So guys, with all that being said, now that the tour is done, we're now going to head back to the Apple Room and explore the temple. All right, guys, we are now back here. So now we're going to head down to the Apple Temple, which, as you can see, it automatically presents us with the following. Welcome to the Apple Temple. Find all three types of apples hidden in this temple to collect apple-themed fruit items. So, that is our main goal in this temple, and as you can see, it looks really freaking cool. We have the apple banners practically everywhere, which, yes, is an item in this party, as the schedule probably stated earlier. However, there's more than just two items. So, we're going to make our way through, and yeah, it looks really freaking cool. So, as you can see, as we go along the temple, You'll notice that everything has been completely transformed, which is really freaking cool. Now, we have to find all three apple types in this room. The first one being, well, actually right around here, the golden apple. You have to find the golden apple in the middle or find it wherever it is that isn't either the regular apple or the enchanted golden apple. I did realize, though, that I did forget about the regular apple, which I just realized I needed to actually go over here first before actually doing the golden apple, so that was my fault. Heading on in here, as you'll notice, we have the regular apple, which you can claim any of those. Now, to clarify, though, the rest of these also are filled with apples as well, as you can clearly see by the chest right here. So you'll notice that those are also filled with the respective items. Now, there is one more that we need to find in this row, which specifically is right over here. You'll notice between all the golden apples, we need to find the enchanted one. And it's rather easy to find because it's right in the middle. Now that I have that over with, now we're gonna go ahead and make our way out of the temple. And also, most importantly, collect all the items that are said within this temple. But also, take a look around, by the way, while we're here. This is actually a really nice temple. And yeah, so we are now going to successfully make our way to the end of the temple, where we will officially find all the items that are related to the apple. Let me just go ahead and put these over here really quick so I can claim all five items. First off, we have the apple hat, the apple shirt, the apple pants, and the apple shoes. Of course, we will put all five for these back just in case I wanna replay the challenge again. And last but not least, we have the apple banner. Specifically right here, we're going to put on all four of these items. And to clarify, that is how it looks. It honestly looks really freaking cool. With all that in mind, I hope you guys love the items. Now that I have the items out of the way, we can get out of the temple now. 
And now, as we went for that door, there is no way back in. So you have to go through the whole temple all over again to be able to make it to the end of the said room. So, with all that being said, guys, what do you guys think of the Apple Temple? This honestly was a very fun thing to make. All the temples, actually, were very fun to make. Like, this was a very fun temple to do. And yeah, I'm just going to explore it one more time just to give you guys a little overview because we're probably not going to come back in here for the rest of the party. Just giving you one last little tour of this as we uh, end the video, which, by the way, I will end the video while touring. Thank you for watching the video, by the way. That's another thing. Yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. What do you guys think of the Festival of Fruit? Do you think this was a nice surprise? And a nice way to wrap up the surprises here in Zola's Lab 2? This was honestly a very fun party to make. And it did take a while, but I promise you, this was a very fun party to work on. I want to just assure you guys right now, this was a very fun party to work on. And I hope you guys um, enjoyed it. And at least saw and are excited for the remainder of this party. As, of course, we still got another eight temples to go, and they're all very creative. So, with all that being said, I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye, guys!